Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little review of the Dr. Jart Black Label Detox Beauty Balm. And I usually don't buy expensive makeup, just occasionally I'll splurge on, you know, like a higher end eyeshadow or a higher end face product, but most of the time I don't. So when I do, I really like to do a review of it because I know it can be kind of hard to decide between one high end item and another. And since they're kind of expensive, you can't really get a lot of them. So um, I actually really do like this product a lot as sort of like an overview in case you're too lazy to watch this whole video. I received a sample of it in my birch box um, about a year ago, and then I used my birch box points to get a full-sized uh, bottle of it because you can get points from birch box um, towards full-size products. And I think the price is, I want to say $38. It's pretty expensive for a face product, but one thing to point out is that it is 1.5 ounces and a lot of drugstore face products are only about one ounce so it is still more expensive than those per ounce but it is a little bit bigger than most face products so that helps a little bit to offset how expensive it is and I really am, I really honestly love the BB cream thing. I've been wearing BB creams pretty much ever since I discovered them, and um, I like the Korean ones. I haven't really found um, that many American ones that I like that much, but I do like this one. This is an American one. I do like it. Oh, actually, this says, well, the company is in California, but then it says made in Korea, so... Hmm, I'm actually not sure. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but let me know down in the info box if you guys know. I'm not completely sure if this is and if you would describe this as an American or a Korean product, just because it seems like the company is American, but it's made in Korea. But I do like the fact that the shade of it matches pretty closely to my skin tone. Sometimes I have to warm it up a little bit with, you know, um, bronzers and whatnot, but I have, I wore it last winter and then I've also been wearing it this winter because it, it's a little bit of a paler shade. And in general, BB creams, a lot of BB creams tend to be on the lighter side. Um, there are some new ones coming out now that have more variety of different skin tone shades, which is good because it used to be that they were all pretty fair, um, really even too fair for me, so that's quite fair. Um, but this one, I would say it's a little bit darker than Skin 79, but it is still quite fair. Um, and if you're someone who your skin gets a little bit darker in the summer, it would probably be too light for you in the summer, but you may be able to get away with it in the winter if you tend to get pretty fair in the winter. And um, it does have SPF 25, which is great because you can just do your SPF and your makeup just all in one go, which is basically the reason why BB creams are so popular because you get your skincare and a little bit of coverage all just in one thing. So it's basically, it's like a tinted moisturizer, but I feel like BB creams put in a little bit more of an effort than tinted moisturizers into making sure that the makeup part of the product is high quality and will go on well and last well um, as opposed to tinted, a tinted moisturizer. So, um, Actually, when I tried the sample, I really just love the consistency of it. I love the color. Um, and then when I received the full-size product, when I first squirted the product out, I was a little disappointed because it seemed a little bit runny and the color seemed a little bit off. But I think it must have just settled some in shipping or sitting on the shelf in some warehouse or whatever. It must have settled a little bit because after a few more pumps, I got to where it was what I recognized from the sample. It was the consistency and the color that I had liked and was the reason that I had purchased it. So if you do purchase this and at first you're, you're kind of not really liking the consistency or the color of it, I think it was a little bit watery when it first came out, then try just pumping a couple of extra pumps out and see if it gets better because that was my experience. And I'll show you guys kind of how the consistency is. Oh my gosh, my arm, my hands are so dry. Um, but I really like the fact that it's, you know, it's blendable, but it's not one of those, it's not like, it doesn't run everywhere. It's not a super runny type of face product. And I would say that the coverage is probably medium coverage. If you want lots and lots of coverage, then this will not give you that. And then if you also want a really, really, really sheer, barely there kind of makeup, 
Um, well, you might be able to do that if you put on a really thin layer, but I would say that generally I would say this is about sort of a medium coverage. So it's good for if you want a little bit of coverage, but not a ton of coverage. And I also really love the packaging of this product. You know, I've traveled with this a lot. I just find it to be so durable. Sometimes face products are in those glass bottles and you really feel paranoid that you're gonna somehow drop it on a tile floor and have glass everywhere. And this is just a nice, very sturdy, I guess it's plastic. And then I like this cap. It also stays on pretty well and it's just, pretty indestructible so I do like this packaging and I have been using it for about a year so it's held up great and I am really liking this product and it has lasted for quite a while for me like I said I wore it last winter and this winter so I think I really have pretty much gotten a good value out of it despite how expensive it is so overall I would say thumbs up for the Dr. Chart Beauty Balm Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you're having a good week. Bye!